Honestly, I don't think I've ever been as excited to eat something in my entire life. But I just want to let viewers in on the interior of this restaurant, which has a lot of history. I mean, if you look at the ceilings, they don't make ceilings like this anymore. Uh, the name is Flytrap is 137 years old. Are you serious? Yes, it's the oldest name. But the location, this is the fourth location. I mean, the last Flytrap shut down on Montgomery and uh, Sutter mm -hmm. Flytrap, gentleman named Walter Zolesi. He bought all the pretty much stuff from there, the ceilings, and so he pre preserved it until he opened it here. I never thought anything could take me away from school. Yeah. But that little more than a year that I took commute from Davis to San mm -hmm. Francisco every day to yeah. work here, go back and forth. When I look at back right now, it was a battle between school and what direction I was planning to go. It was too love. So you can tell which I think, one I you know, chose. Iranians are a lot <clears throat> like, you know, people from any Arab region. They want their kids to be, you know, doctors, Doctor. lawyers, engineers. You got it. So that must have been kind of a surprise for your family, maybe, when you decided to do that. Were they supportive or were they like, no, go back well, to school? I am, or? Blessed. I am blessed that I have an amazing, open-minded family. That's great. Which is unusual. That's and, nice. Uh, the, the last word they told me when I left the country, that son, we lived our life. We might, maybe one day, maybe 20 years left. All we want you guys to be happy. So did your parents ever get to try your food, your cuisine, or did they stay in Iran? Unfortunately not. I always want to cook for them, but yeah. because circumstances with the visa, they couldn't leave the country. And so nine years ago, I lost them in a tragedy, double oh, murder. That's anyway. horrible. It was that's tough. Horrible. It was tough to swallow, yeah. but I feel like I'm cooking for them right mm -hmm. now because uh, every day they're in my life, they're in my heart. But that's what the beauty of the food Mm -hmm. uh, I can probably say three times food has saved my life. You know, food is therapy, it, it is. isn't it? I mean, After saved and it's, my life, because right. I was in it down, I went to the bottom, because mm -hmm. how anybody can kill your parents. Yeah. But here I say, okay, how I can honor them, how I can live every day with their beautiful memories, mm -hmm. cook the food that I grew up and my mom used to cook. So I start not, you know, the same way I started cooking mm -hmm. without any culinary school, self-taught, mm -hmm. any kind. Even the Persian food that I don't call Persian, I call Persian flair I'm doing here, all from the pa palate, palate and taste I have as a child in memory. Then I noticed that I'm getting happier and happier, happier and happier. Yeah. So I find the therapy and tool with food yeah. to deal with the situation. I noticed even though there is a large Persian community, there aren't that many Persian restaurants in this area. Do you think that's because they're so amazing in their home that they really don't need to go out to restaurants? Or they, what, what is it? You, I mean, you touched a great point. Yeah. I, I, it's any culture. Uh, uh, Persians are, or any Middle Eastern are stubborn. Well, yeah. They were actually, I, yeah. I change it. I do. Why? Because they are always wonder what they grew up, what's comfortable with the food, with the music, with the art and everything, yeah. dancing. But right now, the, I can call it revo revolution, like a renaissance. Yeah. With the, our people are young generation accepted for the change in like, the dishes. Like if you make it, for example, Fes and June, one of the classic Persian dishes. Yeah. Walnut, pomegranate reduction. I mean, if you do anyway, uh, the, this is not the Persian style yeah. oh, traditional. And, uh, yeah. But right now, yeah. other way around. What a difference. Oh. This is good. Not the same before, but it's better also. So people are more accepted. Exactly. And, and you know, I noticed the same thing when I put out stuff where I fuse uh, Middle Eastern Amer ingredients, for example, with American cooking. I'll get, you know, from the older generation, what are you doing? This isn't the classical interpretation. And that's something I love to bring home is that there's really no right or wrong answer when it comes to cooking. cooking. It's just how you express yourself at that moment, what ingredients you have at that moment. What, what was your journey like here in the States when you first came? Was it easy for you to assimilate? Did you get acceptance for your ideas and, and your culture? I have the most beautiful 30 years of my life here. I wow. made beautiful mm -hmm. people. Even those people, they might be a racism, I can use that word or whatever. One little interaction with me, I have changed in my life. People are different. I mean, you're such an innovator. You have a very big following on like Instagram. So if you want to find him on Instagram, it's Chef Hasare. So that's spelled Chef H O S S Z A R E, okay. where people can see your creations on a regular basis. You're always putting, you're churning out so much creativity from your kitchen, and I love that you're so open about sharing it with people. 
How has social media changed uh, the way you view yourself as a chef? Well, you learn, uh, you are not anymore dependent on one foot critic. Everybody's right. right now, they can follow you, you can share, you can express yourself, and yeah. you can also tour with people from other countries. It's funny, you've been at this for so long, but I feel like you're just getting warmed up. It's crazy, like there's so much you, you're going to offer the world well, to, with your uh, wrap talents. Up this, so this is a great point you touched. It. Uh, so far, I have done everything on my own. Yeah trying to do research, but now is a good timing for me to go and research a lot in Iran, different mm -hmm. region of Iran, northern Iran, all they are beautiful. I want to bring them more to, to this cuisine. Mm -hmm. I am learning more from northern Iran, Caspian Sea, mm -hmm. southern Iran. So I'm going to try to spend more time in Iran uh, to do documentary, the food, different region, and I bring it here and transfer it my way, more power. I can't so wait to that's see that. my next move I want to bring to the, my cuisine. If anyone wants to travel to Iran, is there anything that they should be aware of? Like the top thing that they should be aware of? Uh, people are the most hospital people in the world. Yeah. Unlike what you hear from media. Yeah. And I've heard that many times. And they go miles out of their way to help you. Mm -hmm. Beautiful sights in everywhere you go. Mm -hmm. And they are actually, they're more kind to foreigners than their own people. <laughs> That sounds a lot like like others like in Other the Arab kind of, yeah, world. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, if you are any indication of what Iran's like, I feel like I need to book a ticket ASAP and check it out for myself. So I'm just so thrilled to be here. We've been talking for a long time yeah. about you know meeting each other, and I I'm a native San Franciscan. I remember reading about your restaurant all the time in the in the newspaper on the weekends when I when they did restaurant reviews. Always your restaurant always came out on top as an amazing place. So. I hope people try your recipe, and I, I can't wait to see what, what's next for you. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's a thank pleasure. you so much. And finally, we had a chance to sit one-on-one -on -one chat a little bit. Yeah, how do you say thank you in Farsi? No, you can say Khali Mamnunam. Khali? Mamnunam. Khali Mamnunam. Thank you very much. Khali Mamnunam. I'll But the mercy is the one is a it's easy. more common Khali Mamnunam. Did I say it right? Well, Tashakur, that's another Arabic word. Tashakur. Tashakur. Oh, we say Tashakur like Shukran. Yeah, Shukran. Beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you so much My again pleasure. for everything. Thank you.